The next thing I want to show you is something that's called a slicer. So we have the filters here. However, another way to filter out your reports is with a slicer. So the slicer is going to be another visual. So watch what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to make this one smaller. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click over here on the blank section and we're going to click on this icon, the slicer. All right. So let's say I want to filter it by country from the customer's table. So I'm going to expand the customer's table over here and I'll pick up country and drag it into where it says add data fields here. Okay, good. So now watch how the slicer is going to work. If I pick on Canada, notice how both reports changed. Um, this report is only showing Canada and then this report is only showing the orders or the customers from Canada. Right. So then very quickly, I can pick on different countries. If you want to pick more than one of these, hold down the control key. So I just held down the control key and then I can just pick as many as I wanted to. So that was a, a pretty good slicer. Now to get everything back again, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, this eraser. This is clear selections and then everything is back. You can have as many slicers as you want. All right, so then I'm just going to uh, hold down my control key to pick more than one. And you can see how both of those reports are, are updated. So the slicer is a visual way to do a filter. Let's go ahead and get everything back again. Let's add another slicer. A really powerful one is going to be by, um, well, I want to get all those records back again. So a really powerful one is going to be a date range. So if we make a slicer, out of a date field, it'll make it into a date range. So let's try something like that. Now I'm just going to click over here so I can add another visual. All right, so I'm going to click over here and we're going to add another slicer right here. Good. And you can see it put it where I had clicked. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So watch. This time I'm going to use the, uh, the orders table and we'll use the order date. So I'll pick up order date and move it to where it says add data fields here for the, um, for the filter. Now it realized that that was actually, I, uh, let me, let me pick that up again. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I, I wanted to move that order date into where it says add data fields here. That's better. Now, because that was a date field, notice what it did. Now we can uh, change the date here or here, or I could just slide it back and forth to get the exact date range that I'm talking about. Now this report isn't changing. That report just came from the customer's table. So the order date wouldn't apply to that. But notice how when I change the dates, this one is changing. All right. So as soon as we add a date field into a slicer, you get this uh, slide rule. So you can move, change the beginning date or the ending date. Of course, you can just change them by typing them in there as well. And then the other slicer will kick in as well. So now I can do it by country within a date range and start to really have a nice dashboard here as well. All right, so when we add a slicer, if you add a date field into that slicer, that's how it makes it with the slide rule where we can do a date range. So in Excel, that might be called a timeline. Here, it's just another slicer that, that happens to be based on a date field. So we can change the dates pretty easily. I'm going to click on this uh, eraser to get everything back from that slicer. And we'll click on this one uh, and then get everything back from there as well. Excellent. You can really have as many slicers as you need. Uh, let's go ahead and add another one. So let me see if I have some room over here. I'm going to make that one smaller. So I'm just going to click over here. Now we're going to introduce the third table. So um, we're going to in introduce the employees table. Let's see if I have a, a, an important relationship. So I'll pick on the model again. The customers is joined to the orders based on the customer ID. The orders is joined to the employees by the employee ID. So it should know which employees go with which orders because of that relationship. Let's go ahead. Now remember the employees table actually came from the access database, whereas the other two came from Excel. So now 
we're going to bring in a third table and that third table will come from the second data source. So now it's starting to get kind of interesting as far as building our model. Let's go back to our report here. Uh, so I can make this one. Well, we, we'll, we'll put the slicer right over here. So we're going to add another slicer. Good. Now this time I'm going to expand the employees table and let's say we do it by last name. All right, so we'll pick up a last name and drag it to where it says add data fields here for the slicer. Perfect. So let's think about what we're looking at here. This one came from the customer's table. This came from the customer's table. These names came, came from the customer's table. This number came from the orders table. And uh, these came from the employees table. So we have three different tables from two different data sources, Excel and Access. But because we have everything working together and everything joined together with the relationships, everything is working together, as you can see. And now remember how this one came from the orders table as well. So that I have three different slicers and I can get the exact records that we're looking for. Very, very powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear the selections here clear the selections here, and then clear the selections on this one, and everything is back. We're going to save our report now. So I'll pick on Save. And then, of course, you would give it a good name. So it's going to give it that extension, but let's call it uh, Class Report. Good. So that was pretty interesting. In that case, we pulled the slicer in from uh, even you know the next uh, table. Uh, in that case, that was from the employees table. Notice how everything is working together very nicely.